Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick from Fit Futures here with yet another answer to yet another question. Today's question comes from Lewis in Hamilton. Lewis's question is, Nick, how long does it take to get unfit? Well, I suppose it's a question a lot of you would want answers to, especially since you spend a lot of time in the gym or out there on the, on, on the sports field or what have you, building yourself up, getting fit, getting strong, looking good, feeling good, etc. So you'd be interested to know if you were to maybe go away on a holiday or have an extended period of leave, would that impact negatively or how quickly would it impact negatively? So I totally get the question, Lewis. And look, the answer is it would be individualistic because it would also depend on how fit you were prior to the period of absence or prior to that holiday, prior to that injury layoff. Okay, The, the, the fitter you are, uh, the longer you will actually be able to hold that fitness and probably the quicker as well that that fitness will return. Research has demonstrated that when we, when we get fit, so let's say for argument's sake we're looking at cardiovascular training. When we get fit, there are structural changes that the body undergoes. So it may be laying down some more capillaries, more mitochondria, the left ventricular wall mass can, can expand, we can eject more uh, blood per, per heartbeat, things like that, that that make us fitter. We don't just get fit by doing the activity. There's actually adaptations that the body experiences chronically when exposed to that sort of stuff. And that stuff doesn't just melt away overnight. Okay. However, if you're not fit and you've developed maybe a little bit of base fitness and you haven't really gone beyond that, it hasn't been chronic, you haven't necessarily experienced those adaptations, that is when you can expect to get unfit fairly quickly, within a couple of weeks. Otherwise, you're probably looking at four plus weeks before you would experience a reverse in the structural adaptations that your body has already experienced, which again, there isn't much difference between two weeks and four weeks, but still, still better than nothing. Now the same is true when we perform resistance training. When we perform resistance training, we break the body down and we build it back up through our, through our nutrition and, and, and good sleep and things like that. We experience cross-sectional area changes in muscle. Okay, the physiological cross-sectional area will expand, the muscles will become bigger, and with that our strength will also improve because we know that strength is proportionate to our muscle mass. But the structural changes that I just mentioned, again, won't just go away overnight. So within a couple of weeks, even if you were to experience a decline in your strength, you probably won't really experience any significant reverse in the adaptations that you have already built within yourself. Again, you're probably looking at three, four plus weeks before that occurs. So you can safely go away and enjoy a couple of weeks on the Gold Coast and come back and then get back into your gym training and you probably won't experience any noticeable decline. If you did, it could be primarily due to uh, reductions in neuromuscular uh, signals and, and motor patterning and things like that. Things that will again correct itself uh, within a couple of sessions of you returning. So I hope that answered your question, Lewis. And guys that are out there, feel free to cl click the link below, look through our previous content for answers to questions, and if you have any more questions for us, please get in touch. We absolutely love answering them. And until next time, guys, keep safe.